Uh, hey, Lauren. Hey, Steve. The latest up in our Boomtown series brings us right here to the heart of Sanford. And I had a chance to talk to some people today. And depending on who you ask, you should be able to tell uh, in just the next couple of moments why they feel that the praise that they're getting now is long overdue. If you were to ask me, how do you write a playbook on growth for a town? I'd point you to Sanford. Joel Janess is with Smith Douglas Homes and is looking to get more people into the developer's newest community here in town. This is Boomtown for Sanford. I think it's long overdue and I'm excited to see about what they're going to do in the future. It's people like him and small business owner Angie Mundy who understand the growth happening right in front of their eyes. She left her job of 35 years as a dental hygienist to run this space, Gigi's Creations. Business so great that she's running out of room for everything. It is a very good problem to have. Very blessed and so thankful for all the people that have supported us since we've started. Meanwhile, Indian company Barat Forge Aluminum picked this property here in Sanford. They make car parts for Ford, Toyota, BMW, Mercedes, and Audi. The company's leadership visited various parts of the Southeast and decided Sanford had the best offer in building a workforce. That they fell in love with the people here. So they knew they, they loved this community and that, that was a huge decision. They felt like they should be here. Sanford Area Growth Alliance CEO Jimmy Randolph and Chamber of Commerce Director Susan Gomez take pride in the fact that Sanford is a boom town and their work revolves around getting new businesses here, keeping them here and fostering relationships through the community. People think of Sanford as a small town. Ain't nothing going on there. <laughs> but there's a lot going on here and I think once they come in and see even a day, of being in town, they realize, wow, we have so much to give. And speaking of so much to give, this train depot was seen as a landing spot here in the community to bring people together, uh, celebrate what exactly makes Sanford such an attractive place. Now, Brat Forge, the aluminum factory, they're building a phase two as we speak. So you see some of the growth that's happening uh, there. And also uh, some of the real estate uh, you heard there from Smith Douglas, they're getting ready to encounter some competition with other real estate companies wanting to make their mark right here in the town of Sanford. We're live in Sanford tonight. Dwan Hogarth, MS 11 Eyewitness News.